Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I was going to go back and see um, the guy who runs the dang there Blue Suns because like I said before like I talked to the Blood Pack and the Eclipse and I didn't talk to the Blue Suns guy and I was like oh I'll just do that like I'll just run back it'll only be like an hour or something but I'm pretty sure I don't have a good save for it. Um, I think it was somewhere between these two, and I don't know if I'm willing to go back that far, which just sucks. I'm gonna have to look it up, because there is special dialogue between, um, Saeed and the blood, the Blue Suns guy, so, uh, maybe I'll link a video in the description that, uh, that shows that dialogue. Dang it! That was like, that was like half the reason I brought Saeed, was because I knew he was gonna, um, like I, I, I didn't actually know 100%, but I, but I was like, oh, I feel like he'll say something. Um, so I'm really bummed out, honestly. Um, but really quick, we are. What do we do? We, we, oh yes, we have this. Um, we have to deliver. So we picked up that data pad that talked about how everybody was gonna like, uh, they were gonna like team up Come to on, uh, to take down Arya. And, uh, I'm gonna get into her good graces and say, hey, here you go. <laughs> There's something, it's not this one, it's the lower entrance or some stuff you can like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Maybe she doesn't show up unless you do the Renegade mission. Or maybe it's just not time yet. Yeah, that room's closed now. Alright. Arya has work for you. Oh. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood oh, mercs yeah. planned to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. What's the Blood Pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle nut up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you mm. need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Easy. <laughs> If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. <laughs> sure, I'm sure that that was, that was how people would interpret it. Um, but we're also talking about this at top volume in, you know, the club. Sure. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. Hey, Arya, I have more stuff to get into your good graces. I know this is like one of her bodyguards, but I don't know who this guy is. And these people are probably shaking in their boots. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for I you. I like next. this suit. Let me see. I like the suit a lot. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Yeah, bye. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. 
You do that. I got 40 experience for that. She didn't even give me. She's just like, thanks. Bye. And I'm like, okay. He's down. Is he down here? I think he is down here. Uh, what? Is he? He might be on the lower level. After that. Here we go. Here we go. Let's talk to. Hang on. I need to do better at saving. Oh, <laughs> apparently. I go hours without saving. What's up? Yeah, I'm just gonna sh I'm gonna shove it through my helmet. Don't mind me. I might be doing this out of order, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I did it out of order. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily out of order. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confusing. I should have warned you, Shepard. Sorry. What do you mean? What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. I, I freaking Garrus. I should have warned you. What are you talking about, my dude? Now I have to listen to this random guy tell me. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife. It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful up there. There's, I think you can actually figure it out in a different way. Junk. Talk to Garrus. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. Well, to be fair, you did probably make a difference in a lot of individual people's lives, you know? Where am I going? Is this another entrance into the lower part of Afterlife? No, this is the main level? Oh no, it isn't. I swear there's like a different way to figure out Oh, I don't know. Maybe there isn't. Hey, I'm still alive. Recognize me? Do I know you? No, no. Humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. Ooh, incite the crowd. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your They customers? haven't done anything yet. Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you. Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. Want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the board. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Not taking any chances. Th thanks, my dude. <laughs> thanks. I definitely thought it was Zaid. <laughs> Bastard deserved one. I definitely thought it was Zaid at first. Anyway, apparently this is just uh, another day in the life <laughs> in all makeup. I got a mate and a ship. I only brought one of them with me to the Okay, so you're an asshole. <laughs> it was these it <laughs> definitely the ship. What's down here? Oh, is this where he is? Yes, there he is. Don't act like you know. Just plan for the funeral normally. During the service, someone will want to set up a meeting. He's in on whoever killed your family. You tear off a few of his fingers, you'll find out who's in this I don't, does he do the other ones? It's kind of fun to overhear his stuff. Nope, just the one? No, you 
said he had close family. He'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Mm. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. Mm. What do you know about Arya? A few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was... Another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? She doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was it's a really interesting idea. I also do think that she did have a tiny bit of respect for him. Like, you know, but, uh... We wouldn't want to say that. We wouldn't want to say that about Arya. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an <laughs> My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. It's really, like, it would be really cool, honestly, to get, like, their, their backstory, you know? Because apparently she's been running this place for centuries. Which is, like, I mean, on Omega, I feel like it's pretty impressive. Like, you'd think it would maybe go, like, it, like, it would be turnover a little faster. But she's been holding on to this place for a long time. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. It's rough. Like, it's. It, the way that they keep like pushing like that story is like it's really like the political intrigue here it's not just like you know you know guns and blood it's like the the politics behind the scenes is pretty intense some people want you dead i've been asked to move you to safety well of course aria wouldn't want me hurt it would make her look bad Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Hang on. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could, you could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Find thugs. <laughs> How do I find the thugs? Handle Patriarch. Okay, we did, yeah, we did that. We're handling it. Plus two pair. It's kind of distracting to have those. I like them, but at the same time, when you get too many, it's a little distracting. Yay! Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? 
What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. You're the Patriarch's craft? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. <laughs> I just kicked... I just kicked a Krogan and acted like that that was anything... That it was gonna do anything. <laughs> You kid, you don't just kick a Krogan. Especially in full body armor. Oh, that's not the way I want to go. I want to go this way. It's, it's a fun little fight. And all, we got to stand there very epically at the end. So. It's done. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. Hmm. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. Not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Yeah, we, uh, us coming in here and altering, like, the subtle balance of power. And she's already got to deal with, um, the people. Oh, hey. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'm good for now. Of course. Thank you for stopping by and for not shooting anyone in public. You're, you're very welcome. I, uh, you know, do, I try. Um, but she's also, Ari is also dealing with them um, that attempted coup from the mercenaries. And now I'm, you know... It's not a big thing, but it's a, it's a, it's a small enough shift in balance like of power that it's like worrisome for her. Arya wants to speak with you. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassins So yourself. much for us... I wouldn't keep so much for us being chill about this. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Mm. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well... Maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Mm hmm friendly enough to talk about who you were before yeah. you're reaching back centuries Shepard long before anything that should matter to you so why keep it secret no reason from your perspective but there are plenty of people out there with long memories I've had a few careers a few names commando training mercenary leanings I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage I thought you were in charge why so scared of your past I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. Oh man, oh, she's got feelings. You couldn't have started here with nothing. You must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize uh -oh. it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost, or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian, but not their record keeping. Mm. All right, I'll drop it. 
I mean, she doesn't need to tell me her past. It's just, it would be very interesting to have Ori Arya's whole backstory. Better luck next time. I'll, I'll keep trying. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. She, she moves when a I lot. arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch it was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Oh, man. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. Toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. So basically she seduced all his men. It doesn't seem like it would work in the long term though, right? Like she'd have to like back it up with like, you know, evidence of her actually running the place better and like, you know, money and stuff. Like just being like, hey, you wanna have a night with my sexy Asari? Like co companions is like not enough to build an empire on. <laughs> Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on a so she does explicitly say that she eventually did come to respect him. Interesting. But let's move on. Do you need something else? <sighs> nope. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. What? You look like you need to lose well, I, I, but uh, that's, that's personal. That's very personal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Did you just say Arya is so beautiful? <laughs> I was gonna say I could be interested in women, but then I remembered that this shepherd on, is uh, is basically forced to be straight unless you take the <laughs> the cheap Kelly romance. Are my are you guys coming? Okay. Oh, I need to go to the. I need to go to the squad member menu from my command center. And change Garrus's armor if I can. I think I should have the DLC, the appearance packs. No messages for you. Commander. That's good. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we only we only have these two. I actually do like his blue armor better, but this one is nice because it means you can uh, actually, you know, he doesn't he doesn't have a broken armor anymore. And I do. I know this is classic Miranda, but this one makes a tiny bit more sense. <laughs> like, like I said, she doesn't run around doing the femme fatale thing. So this armor will still, like, accentuates her physical assets, but it doesn't... It's not as stupid, stupidly armorless, <laughs> you know? It's a little beefier. I don't think... I think we do get a couple people later who get to have their appearance. I swear Morden has one. Maybe it's when you get their loyalty do they get do they get a second outfit? Besides like we have DLC there's DLC armor packs. And then I think when you get each companion's loyalty, um you can cycle an outfit for them. Let's go 
Uh, let's go before I forget. Drop off the. Uh, I haven't done a major mission, so I don't need to talk to anybody. Eh, let's just go get um. What's her name? From the Citadel. We also <coughs> need <laughs> need to go. I'm sorry. Um, need to go to the Citadel. Uh, how do I? Okay, nope. I was trying. Oh, that's right. I was trying to do like a Mass Effect one where you just keep zooming out, but in this one you have to go la 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 all the way over here. And then I'm going to the Citadel to recruit the Master Thief and also pick up some supplies. The problem though is the Citadel is like its own, its whole own thing. Like, there's so much to do there several floors of places like shops and stuff like that where I have to sell out. I have to be a sellout and get like a 10% off deal at every shop. And I say, this is my favorite shop on the Citadel. <laughs> to like 30 different shops. Alright, Kasumi, I'm sorry. I kept you waiting. <laughs> and I didn't click on you <laughs> when you're very obvious. Um, recruitment poster. Let's see. I'm gonna bring Zaid and. No, I'm not doing that yet. I am saving up. Oh boy. What? Oh, that's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one out. I think we like the, but we're about the collect. That's right. We have the collector assault rifle. What does? Right now, Garrus is using the collector assault rifle, so we'll keep it as is, and I'll try to keep an eye on Garrus if I remember. Mitten. They just look like mittens. Why? 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 Commander Shepard, yeah. enter uh -huh. the path. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit, and I have no doubts now. You're the real commander. Shepherd. Because I knew a password. Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your uh. ship. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in form. Wait, player. what? <laughs> I have a feeling you know something I don't. They didn't tell you? And they call me secretive. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in. And I think you're gonna love oh, it. Oh, jeez. What's this heist you're I'm planning? not a heist woman. Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. I... I am not a heist woman. <laughs> I am a soldier. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. 
That information got him killed. Holy cow, she looks very good in the HD version. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time before Hawk killed him. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. She's so cool, she's so cool. She's really, 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 really cool, cool. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. She looks really good. In HD. Also, her abilities are really, really cool. Beckenstein, we figure out. That's a planet that we encounter in Mass Effect 3, but only in a tertiary fashion, and I've always remembered. Uh, it's rough. Anyway, this episode's gone on for a little bit of a long time, but we've done a lot. <laughs> got in good with Arya, got Kasumi. This will be interesting, having my DLC character so early, but anyway. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to say thank you to all of them, but to especially to my sapling tier patrons, uh, Scalamonger, thank you so much, and Reese Galito, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys' support a lot. And I want to give an extra special shout out to the tree tier patron, Christopher, who is the super bestest and very supportive and awesome. So thank you so much, Christopher, and thank you everybody. I hope to see you in the next one.